Hi everyone, in this video we want to show you how we can create a Docker image in just a few minutes. So uh, to start, first let's create an empty directory uh, using this command in Ubuntu. Let's say the name of the directory is tst and then we go to this directory and you see that it's empty. Now assume that you have uh, some files here, like uh, you can uh, have your uh, Python scripts or your C++ code or whatever. So uh, for now, we just create an empty file like um, readme.txt. Then you can actually uh, put some data on your file or you can have uh, more files or directories here. But for now, just assume that we have this simple text file. So to create an image, uh, a Docker image, we first need to create the so-called Docker file. So Docker file is just uh, a simple file by which we can create a Docker image. So let's create that. We say touch Docker file to create an empty file with name Docker file then uh, you can edit this file using nano or whatever editor that you like so we say nano docker file so the editor opens and then here you should put some docker instruction there are a bunch of uh, docker instructions or which you can find them um, online but for now just assume that we want to create a simple docker which um, echoes or prints hello world right so the first command that I'm gonna use is from and I want to use a docker from Ubuntu in other words we want to have a virtual machine with Ubuntu installed on that so whenever you run that docker it's like you execute a virtual machine in which uh, Ubuntu is installed so you say from Ubuntu then using command or CMD you can actually uh, write your own instructions for example you can say echo um, comma hello hello there and we use this format so if I save this file and exit, then we have our first Docker file. So let's see the content of this directory. You see that we have readme.txt and also Docker file. So the second stage is to create the Docker image. To do so, you can say sudo docker build. Uh, T and then you should specify the name of the docker for example I would I would say uh, my docker so this is the name of my um, docker image and you want to use the content of the current directory so by doing so you see that the docker image is installed successfully to show the list of all available docker images you can use this command sudo docker images so you see you see that my docker is here and it was built 16 seconds ago so now if we want to run this docker image we can use this command so we can say sudo docker run my docker right so you see that after executing this command, the instruction in the Docker file is executed and we see that hello there is printed here. Now assume that you want to also copy that readme.txt file into your Docker image. To do so, you need to uh, use another uh, command in your Docker file. So we go to the Docker file again so we say nano docker file and we're gonna add another 
command which is copy so you can say that we want to copy all files within the current directory to the current directory of the docker so the, the first directory is this dot in Linux means the current directory. So you want to say copy the content of the current directory within the host system, which is our system, to the current directory of the Docker image, the, the Docker image that will be built. So if I save this file, then if I run this um, command again, we can see that, oh, I, I forgot. We should actually create the Docker image again. So we can say docker build hyphen t and my docker and all files within the current directory. So now we can run the docker again sudo docker run and the name of the docker that we just created so we see that again we see hello there here but if as i mentioned docker is like a virtual machine if i want to open the terminal of that virtual machine and see the content within that machine i can use this command sudo docker run hyphen it it means interactive we want to have an interactive um, communication with the docker image so sudo docker run it the name of the docker and also we want to have bash um, access to that virtual machine so i add bash at the end of this command so if i execute this command you see that now we are in the in the terminal in the root pass of the created docker image so i can execute ls and you see that these are the files within the docker image and our current files which is readme.txt and docker file are all exist in this created docker image so uh creating a docker image is pretty easy and you can just uh, search for more commands online to find more about uh, creating more uh, sophisticated docker dockers hope it helps you thank you